what's your name? Because um, I, when, before I became priest, I was a um, member of Legion of Mary. So it is a, Our Lady brought me to the priesthood. So in the Legion of Mary, we always wish each other Ave Maria. Ave Maria. So here we are in a beautiful place, the holy place of Our Lady. The presence of Our Lady is very much here. So that's why Ave Maria. So always it is good to say Ave Maria. Amen. So I am so delighted to speak before you as a guest speaker. So when I came here only I, I knew that I am a guest speaker. I have not spoken like this way. <laughs> anyway, the Holy Spirit will guide. Um, so I am delighted today to climb the apparition hill where I met Deidre and um, Paula, 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 two Irish and um, <laughs> um, so I was so impressed because last two years, you, you, you can understand me, no? Yes. 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 And last two, year, two years, they were climbing to a uh, Persian hill and praying the rosary. You know what time? Is that? Five o'clock in the morning, early morning. So I, I saw today around 15, 15 or 16 um, people were there and praying the rosary. That's continuously, continuously. That is what which, which struck me very much because we will see so many miracles. We have, how many people are coming from outside? But um, here from the from the local people, so I was very much impressed. Um, so today, this evening, I would like to speak to you about the power of prayer. Because Our Lady, the message today, I, I, um, um, Deidre showed me the messages. Because each each decade, after each decade, the the, the message of Our Lady was um, reading. So Our Lady's one of the messages: prayer, pray, pray, pray. Prayer will work miracles. That is true. That is what Tom shared. The prayer, power of prayer. That is what I, I, I spoke in the other day. You might have heard my homily in the, in the, during the Mass uh, on Friday, Friday morning. So the power of prayer is very, very important. And very, very, uh, prayer is very powerful. And today, you know, today is September 5th. What is the speciality of September 5th? Today is the feast of Saint Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. It's a beautiful feast today. Oh, here we have Mother Teresa. <coughs> Mother Teresa had a great devotion to Our Lady. Because I worked with um, Mother, Mother Teresa sisters. I was a chaplain for, for I am lucky to have uh, to be the chaplain of Mother Teresa to his, uh, sister in, in my place, Kerala, in my parish. So Mother Teresa had great devotion to Our Lady. She always prayed rosary and she has the great devotion to Immaculate Heart of Mary. So she always bring that uh, miraculous medal. Hmm? So she promote the um, miraculous medal, very powerful. So, um, what I want to share with you this evening is the power of prayer, especially uh, power of blessed sacrament, power um, of prayer before the blessed sacrament. That is Mother Teresa had that, um, um, that uh, um, power, um, prayer before the blessed sacrament. She always, she always says. This morning, I was sharing with the, my group um, um, in the, for the Holy Mass. The Mother Teresa got strength to do the greater works. It is nothing but the power from the Holy Eucharist. She always says it's a powerhouse. And she was telling that I could not do any like this work. Um, the people appreciate for my the tremendous work, the social work. <coughs> it is, I got strength from Jesus. 
from the Eucharist. They always have the Eucharist. From the Eucharist they get strength. And when the evening comes, then they, they assemble, the sisters assemble in the church, in the chapel where, wherever they are, and they thank the Lord for the, for the blessed sacrament. They thank the Lord for all the blessings. And for me personally, I just want to share with my story about the power of prayer, especially before the blessed sacrament. So I knew I, I know the <coughs> power of prayer. <coughs> and you all know, and because just I am sharing my own testimony, that's all story. Um, you have your own experience of power of prayer. And I'm not perfect, I am also I am learning. I, I am really appreciate you for your your prayer. You are it it is it inspires me. It inspires me very much. You are uh, enthusiasm to pray. Maybe I, I, I may be climbing the apparition to build one or two days, but you are doing many, many times and, and um, you are doing. That's your wonderful work. I, I really appreciate. So that is the power. And um, and later I was telling that um, the Irish will change. Ireland will be new Ireland. Sure, that is true. There is no doubt. Because um, Ireland is a land of saints and scholars. That is the book I, I heard when my, I came to Ireland, um, um, Bishop Finden, our, our bishop in Killaloo, uh, he gave that Ireland is a la land of faith and scholars. Last four years, I could see in Nina, in the parish itself, there were many people, many saints, <coughs> and who have gone before, before us. So many great, great people. And then I can imagine before that how many, so many people. So, of course, it is a land of saints and scholars. So, the, they are interceding for us. Our belief is that we, it, our, li our life is not ended with this earth. But there is a life after life. We believe in that. And they are interceding. That is the power of prayer. So, I just want to share two stories. That is, um, that happens in the year um, twenty. 11. I was appointed as the parish priest. The first parish priest, first time I was, before I was curate, then I was appointed as the parish priest of um, one parish, one of the parish in, in Cochin, Kerala, Cochin. Um, so my task was to build a parish house. Parish house. So um, Actually, I am new. I don't know. I, I have not done anything, and uh, I, I I want I want to collect money for them for that. Um, I, I need to collect money, so I was collecting money for building a house, a parish house. I know that it is not easy to build a parish house. I can build a church. People will contribute, contribute, but for the parish house, uh, people will be a little hesitant. Hmm? So. Um, so uh, uh, it was my task. Bishop asked me to do um, uh, the work, and people also want to do because it was the the, the present house was not not good for living. So so we had to demolish or we had to renovate or build a new house. That was my task. So I. So I I, 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 th I have to collect the money, but uh, the poor people that uh, my parish was not so rich. Uh, but uh, I, I was always thinking of doing the will of God. What is the will of God? So that I wanted to do the will of God, and also the, for the priest, I may be I will be transferred after few years for the parish priest only for five years. After that, five, five, five or six years maximum. I was there for six years. So then after that, we'll be transferred. So for the priest, I need to build a new beautiful house. That was my intention. But it personally, I don't want a big house, um, small house. Because for me, I, love, I like to live in a, not in a bigger house, but it's, for my accommodation, that's enough. Um, but I, I, some people said, 
big house parish council so it's a it is very difficult parish not like nida it's a very <laughs> tough parish the nida people are very good so obedient very um, uh, submissive or no no nothing a very good parish i like that parish now i am there for for more than 4 years um so and the, the council there was so many disputes because uh, who is but I, I, for my my nature is just to, uh, i will not react react means i will not command because in, in in india we can command priest means they are like a king he can order what to do what not to do that's the situation in ireland also earlier it was but the present situation in india is we can command we can but for me and my nature is different so i don't want to i know it is very warm no <laughs> yes, yes. 